forget what you thought was going to happen. I was feeling my way. What now? Just drive around the block. Okay. Why? Question. Do you trust me? Not 100%, no. Different question, then. Oh, could you stop right here? So what's the question? Ah. How's your injury? It hurts. Mm. You think you can run? No. Yeah, you probably don't want to get too excited. You'll pop your stitches. What? I'm going to sneak back inside the Carter house. I want you to don't. stay here until I call you. Don't you dare. Jane? Jane! What? Hey, yourself. You settling back in? Almost. Yeah. How'd you do it? Get Bertram to come around. Oh, it wasn't so hard. Rational discussion between two reasonable men. Rational discussion, I bet. Mm-hmm. But, uh, by all means, go ahead. I'm sorry? Say it. I won't get embarrassed. Say what? Oh. You mean say thank you? Oh. You're welcome. Was it so hard? The thing is, not dealing with you every day has been very restful for me. My back pain's gone, I sleep really well, so I'm actually not so sure I'm grateful to be back. You're a terrible liar. No offense. Good, honest people, always bad liars. Which makes you what? Jane, security just called. They've got someone waiting for you downstairs. Name's Rosalind Harker. Thanks, Grace. No problem. Rosalind Harker, the woman that lived with Red John three or four years uh, ago? They didn't actually live together. Uh, he was more the gentleman caller. What are you seeing her for? Great to have you back, Lisbon. That's great. What are you doing, Jane? Cheer up. Oh, I'm cheery. You heard her. You gave her hope. I didn't give her hope. I sold her hope. I think hope is worth it at any price. What, are you running for office now? OK, you know what? You're a wicked charlatan, and you're going to hell then. That's more like it. I'll save you a seat by the fire. Oh, I'm not going to hell. Oh, you're not? Nope. You've made other arrangements, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where are you going? Do you really want to have this conversation? You ready for some uh, theological talk here? I don't really want to have that conversation. I thought you wanted to feel better and not work. No, I'm going to recline and have a little sleep. OK. Everything all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like our new boss. I think we'll work very well together. Would you like some tea? I'm tired. I'm going to go home. I made a pot. All right. I'll take one to go. I heard you got your man. As did you. Nice work. You think I'm an antisocial personality? Yeah, sure. Who is it? Ah. You could make a necklace out of it. I could. You should. You should have some kind of restful hobby. I don't see it. Hard to believe the moon causes tides, isn't it? I mean, we all know it does, but it just seems so unlikely. I guess. I've never really thought about it. That's because you're a city girl. Aha! My theory made concrete. I told you. Yes, you did. Yeah. I thought I saw a tea shop in town. I could really use a cup of tea. What about you? You need a hand with that? I can manage. The DUI, Zuboff, he's an economist. He's in Fairmont for some sort of trade conference. He stayed on for vacation. Fascinating, but not what you really want to talk about. I cannot believe my brother is a bounty hunter. There we go. And all of a sudden, he's some sort of tough guy? Who does he think he's fooling? Not you. You know what bugs me? He didn't even tell me. It's not like we don't talk. I could have told him this was a bad idea. All he had to do was pick up the phone and call, but instead, nothing. I wonder why that is. I basically raised that punk and his brother. So it's not my fault if he doesn't communicate. Oh, you think it is my fault? No, I, I didn't say that. You said that. I say live and let live. You'll all be happier. Oh, mind your own business. Morning, Lisbon. Morning. You close? 
No, flat tire. All right, well, we'll talk when you get here. Oh, wait a minute. Just because I'm not there doesn't mean I can't be of help. Hold on a sec. What do you got? The victim's name is Michelle Carp. I'm putting you on speaker. 19. She left the restaurant where she worked around 11 p.m. Never made it home. Looks like she was abducted and murdered. Her body was dumped here sometime late last night. Dog walker found her an hour ago. Thanks. The body's on State Park land near Picnic area, not far from the road. How was she killed? The throat was slit. It looks pretty clean, precise. Mm. Blood? Hardly a drop. She's fully clothed, so probably no sexual assault. Her hands and feet are bound with wire. Small pebbles have been placed on her eyes. Oh, nice touch. Pebbles from the crime scene? It looks like it, yeah. And the... Oh, and the wire? It's knotted. Neatly, carefully. Someone took their time. Yeah, you're right. I didn't say anything. No, but you're thinking something. You're thinking whoever did this has killed before, many times. Yes, but I can't assume that. Trust your instincts, Lisbon. Hey, boss. Just got off the phone with Fresno PD. The killer's MO fits four of the murders they've had in the past 18 months. Looks like we got a serial killer. Huh? See? You called it, Lisbon. You called it. Did you know the victim? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Aha. Uh -huh. I know who this woman. This this woman here is. Okay, I'm here. Hey, what the hell is going on? Yolanda Herrera is an undercover cop. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, you know, big whoop for you, smartass. No one can know that. I want to make it more dangerous than a cop and put out there. You're not known for your management skills, are you? Work the case. I'll help you where I can. But Yoli's identity must remain confidential. Keep this circus act under control. Got it? Got it. Blob. Disappointing, Lisbon. I thought you might push back a little. Guy called me a circus act. Hey, the man is grieving. You push back. Okay, I will. Don't you do it. Okay. Said that I could. I take it back. All right. Okay. I need a little rest. Hey. All good? Yeah. The doc seems like a changed man. Well, he's had a perspective few of us ever get. Energizing, I expect. Would you want that? To hear what people say about you when you're dead? When I am dead, they can burn me in effigy or build a statue or forget about me completely. I couldn't care less. You don't mean that. Everybody wants to be remembered. Childish vanity. I want to be remembered. And you shall be, fondly. But you won't care about it, because when you're dead, you're dead. And until then, there's ice cream. Excellent, I think. It's good to see you breathing. It's good to see you, period. We're doing everything we can to find your attacker. You didn't happen to see a face, did you? No. Not that I can remember. What's the last thing you do remember? Are we sleeping together? Excuse me? Well, you're a cop, that's obvious, but you're not treating me like a suspect, and I can't see any other reason for a police officer to come to my bedside unless we're, unless we're sleeping together. You don't know who I am. Please don't take it personally. I'm sure you're quite memorable. I just, I've, I've been through a lot, apparently. No. We are not sleeping together. Working toward it now, right? So I haven't missed anything. What's your name? Are you putting me on? I wish I was. Um, I'm Teresa Lisbon with the CBI. I'm a homicide detective. You're my consultant. I catch bad guys? Wow, that sounds like fun. I always wanted to pit my psychic skills against criminals. You're not a psychic. You used to pretend to be one, but... But what? Teresa. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have talked to the doctor before I came in here. I... Whoa, whoa, Teresa, wait. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I'm staying at the Oakview Inn. If you can think of anything else, please give me a call. Agent Lisbon. Nice lady. Nice. That's all you're going to say? She's nice? Great legs. File on Porchetto Sr. is quite an interesting read. Murder, robbery, thuggery. All sorts of skullduggery. The organized crime unit's been after Porchetto for a while. There's nothing more you can do. About what? Van Pelt. That's what you're fretting about. Van Pelt is missing because of the murder. Ergo, we focus on catching the murder, and chances are we'll find Van Pelt. Unless someone else finds her first. But right now, let's go. Porchettos. I'll have the cops bring them in. We'll do. No, no, no. Let's go to them. Seeing them in their own element will be far more revealing. You just like the loft. I do. It's very nice. I have to be back here right after lunch. Oh? Management meeting. Oh, that Wager. He has too much time on his hands. Major Wainwright, Patrick Jane. Hi, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Agent Lisbon is needed urgently in the field, and as important as your seminar is, she's not going to be able to attend. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. I said it's fine. See? Simple as that. Thanks. Did it ever occur to you that I might actually want to go to the meeting? No, it didn't. Do you? No, but it's the principal. Thanks for the heads up. Bad news. I was a friend from the courthouse. The jury didn't order dinner. They're closing in on a verdict. Hmm. We need to hustle. Call Eve, have her come in, tell her you want to update her on the case. I'm springing Murphy. No, you can't. He's our prime suspect. Well, he didn't kill Carlos, but that doesn't mean he can't be useful to us. Uh, yeah, video surveillance equipment. Those little cameras, I'm going to need a few. Uh, would you mind telling me one thing first? Like what I'm planning? Yeah, that would be super. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No. Where's Erica? Getting a mani pedi? How'd you know? All right, this is getting ridiculous. Erica served her purpose. It's time to bring her back to prison. Oh, we can't do that. Why not? I need her. Visualize. Wait, that's the cult that Brett Stiles runs. You got it. Great, great. We get to deal with those wackos again. Wackos? That's a little uncharitable, Lisbon. Uncharitable? What do you mean? Well, I always knew that you were uh, close-minded about Visualize, but I never thought you were actually bigoted. I'm not bigoted. Well, of course you would think that, because your preconceptions blind you. Use your eyes. Your eyes are the gateway to truth. I actually have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. I know you don't, but he does. Hi. Excuse me? You're a member of Visualize. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Your eyes are the gateway to truth. Visualize dogma. You're the only one that recognized it. Look, uh... I don't know what you're after. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, let me explain. A critic of Visualize was killed here this evening, and a member shows up at the scene. That can't be an accident. You're the one that cleared all this up. Well, that's crazy. I don't think it's crazy. Well, what's your name? Downs. Were you involved in this, Officer Downs? No, no. My alarm pants on fire. You're going to have to come with us. We're going to have to search your car. I know what you're going to say. You're going to warn me that Agent Darcy is playing games with me. She's trying to investigate me on the sly, bless her heart. Well, yes, exactly. Well, I play games better than she does, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, so you get to go off and have fun while we deal with the Philo mess you've left us? I'm pretty sure he's guilty. Oh, thanks a lot. I'd love to stick around and help you solve this crime, but I can't really say no to the FBI. You know, Darcy would leave you alone if you just told her the truth. Which truth are you talking about? That she didn't kill Red John, that she lied about it, that she did a lot of stupid things to cover up the lies, and that now he's back and you are very sorry. That truth. Yes. Can't you see your stubborn arrogance is going to bite you in the agent? Darcy. we got to get rolling. They're keeping the crime scene intact until we get there. Okay, I'm ready. Thanks for lending him to me. My pleasure. Glad to see the back of him. Oh, okay. Well, bye. Bye. You just go and have fun. I'm going to have a great time. There's my back. See ya. This is too creepy. 
killers like creepy. I can't feel my feet are freezing. Be patient. Have there occurred to you that maybe your theory was wrong? Nope. Raddick's killer buried him because there was something about the body he didn't want people to know. So if we put out the word of an autopsy, then we force the killer to try again. If we don't die of frostbite first. Huh. Can you wiggle your toes? Because if you can wiggle your toes, you're fine. I can get you. Shh, someone is coming. <gasps> Are you planning on taking any interest in this case? I'm looking for clues. Yes, in the newspaper. Besides, I heard every single word. Really? Yes. Our victim is either a hardened criminal or a tragically misunderstood Dickensian waif. Also, the casino may be connected to the mafia. Okay, so what do you think? What do I think? I think I'm hungry. There he is. The principal will be in shortly. What did you do? Nothing. Eleven years in Catholic school, and I never got sent to the principal's office once. Well, that's because you're a boring goody two-shoes. I didn't say I never did anything bad. I just never got caught. Huh? Touche. It has come to my attention that Mr. Jane here performed an act of vandalism in the second floor boys' restroom. A vicious personal attack on me. Jane? It's true. Sir, on behalf of the CBI, I apologize. I appreciate that. Mr. Jane? Jane. I'm sorry for the senseless act of graffiti. That's all. Very well. A tear, I see. Yeah, right. Let's keep watching. busy with Greg. I'm never too busy to solve a murder. Well, you seem to be very busy with Greg. Oh, hush. And I'm hushing. On second thought, you're not suspended. You're fired. Get out of here right now. Don't do anything rash. If we can work this out, we'll fix it. I doubt that. I'll come by your place tonight. We'll talk it out, okay? You're sweet. Let me help you.
What is it now? You scared the life out of me. I crawled all the way on my hands and knees from that door. But it was worth it. What are you doing here? It's good to see you. How have you been? Word sick is how I've been. And then you pop in here like some sort of a lunatic playing games asking me how I've been. Just shame on you. Stay calm, okay? It's important that no one sees us together. Why not? I'm faking my breakdown. It's a ruse to trap Red John. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Okay, we are in a church. I, wait. So how does faking a breakdown, if that's what you're really doing, because it looks pretty real to me, how does that trap Red John? What does Red John want from me? What did he send that little girl to ask me? Do you give up? Exactly, and I do give up. I quit. I burn the Red John files. I freak out at the boss. I admit defeat, and I sink into a terrible depression. Brilliant. You did that part great. Now what? Well, why doesn't he just kill me? Because it's too easy. He wants to turn me. He wants to make me his disciple. So I admit defeat, and then he reaches out to start a conversation. That's all supposition. He's not going He already gonna... has reached out. He sent me a message. I need to start a new life. And he can help me. Help you? He wants to help you? Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take him up on the offer. I'm in a lot of real trouble. I do need a new life. Yes, you do. That's what makes the gag work. Then what? Well, I don't know. I let him leave. That's the beauty of it. He thinks I'm the fish, and he's the fisherman. Unless he sees the truth. I am giving him his heart's desire. He will see what he wants to see. Or not. Fooled you. I can fool him. Yeah, you fooled me. All right. Well done. Well, I'm sorry. I tried calling, I tried calling you hundreds of times, begging you to talk to me, begging you to get help. Not a reply, not a word, not a text. Sorry. You know what? I have not been sleeping. I've been, forget it, never mind. You know, you're a jerk. And your plan, it's stupid. It's not even a plan. But you will help me. What am I supposed to say, no? God, you're despicable. Take this, it's clean. I'll call you on it when the time comes. In the meantime, do not contact me. Do not let anyone from CBI contact me. And don't tell anyone the truth. Not a soul. I cannot believe you didn't tell me you were doing this, that you couldn't trust me with a secret like that. We're supposed to be partners. God knows I am happy you're back. It is a huge relief, but what you did, frankly, was a betrayal. God, I hate you, Jane. I hate you.